News 40, awarded News Station of the Year by the Associated Press. With coverage you can count on, this is News 40 Nightcast. Improving MCAS test scores is one of the many priorities topping the list of the new superintendent of schools in Holyoke. In his first day on the job, Dr. Eduardo Carballo spoke out on a number of items at tonight's school committee meeting. News 40's Catherine Shepherdson has more on his hope for change. Concerns together on paper comes to our next finance meeting. We can address these. Eduardo Carballo comes uh, to the paper direct. city from eastern Massachusetts, where he was an assistant superintendent in the Lawrence school system. He's already made history in Holyoke as the city's first Hispanic school superintendent and he says he's ready to make his mark beginning with an aggressive stance on MCAS. I noticed that our math scores are not as strong as they should be and so that's going to be one of my priorities to see if I can get some additional uh, teaching time and additional instructional support for our students so they can do a better job. That includes developing strong skills in reading and writing in English. Carballo says he's seen students climb the charts using English immersion, a program he wants to expand in the school district. The state expects us to have everybody reading and writing in English by the third grade. If you begin in the first grade, no matter what country you came from, or whether or not you're a second language learner, you have to perform. And so I want to make sure that we're, we're strong and we're, we're supportive. Um, I want to make sure people also understand that we're not going to let those children sink or swim. But Carballo admits one of the toughest challenges will be finding ways to do more while working within a limited budget. So, you know, we have some things that are going to impact us, including the, uh, um, uh, the charter school. And I really don't know what the uh, pupil participation there will be. Also the fact that the state is, uh, uh, is most likely to eliminate the... Uh, uh, 636, Chapter 636 funding, which is the racial imbalance funding. Uh, we run our parent information center with that to the tune of almost $700,000. If that money is not available next year, then I have to find a place in the budget to, uh, to absorb that, and that's going to be a good size hit. Overall, Carballo says his main objective will be to support the success of Holyoke students using what he calls a fair and direct approach to learning. Carballo replaces former Superintendent James McDonald, who retired last June. Live in the studio, Katherine Shepherdson, News 40.